This next exercise, you're going to be lying on your stomach. You're going to need your pad so that you can rest your forehead, um, or you could use a folded up towel. Now, this exercise is really to help strengthen our postural back muscles, our posterior line, as we call it. Um, it's going to strengthen your bottom muscles a little bit as well. It's really important that we're going to actually build this exercise up bit by bit till we go into the foot exercise. If any of you feel any soreness in the low back, then either come down to an easier level that we're doing. Um, you can sometimes get a bigger pad or a pillow and put it underneath your stomach. Probably for those of you that know that you've got a little bit more of a curve in your back, what we call a lordosis, a little bit more of a curve, when you're lying on your tummy, you may find that it's more comfortable with a pillow underneath your stomach. If you've tried all of that and you're uncomfortable, this is not an exercise for you. Have a look at maybe some of the intermediate exercises or beginner's exercises where there is less strain. You have never failed with these exercises. What it means is that some of our bodies are suited to different things. And as always, I really hope that you're finding um, the ability to listen to your body and gain confidence in what you can do and really try not to compare yourself to others. So we're going to have a lie down on our stomachs. And the important thing is to, I always end up wiggling off the mat, so you'll see me kind of wiggling up and down. The important thing is to have feet hip width apart, and I'm going to imagine that my bottom is tucked under. My hands are in the stop sign position, and I'm going to start thinking about what I'm going to do with my upper body, then I'm going to practice what I'm doing with my lower body, and then I'm going to put it all together. So our upper body, we can split into two stages. So the first stage, if I just move my hair out the way, I'm going to imagine that my shoulder blades are drawing down. I'm going to tuck my tailbone under. I'm going to breathe in and engage. And I'm going to breathe out and just small hover with my arms. And I'm going to breathe in and I'm going to lower down. So just checking that's OK again. Breathe in to engage. Tuck that tailbone under. Breathing out and hover. Breathing in. Good. Now the next variation I'm going to do is I'm going to imagine that my chest is lifting. So this may give everybody a bit of a giggle. Women, <laughs> women and we have breasts, you are not necessarily going to notice that your whole chest lifts off the floor. You need to be um, someone without breasts to be able to notice this. So you will feel that your breastbone hovers but you may not find that there is much clearance off the mat, depending on your bust size. No one ever tells you that, but that is the reality. So, breathing in to engage, tuck that tailbone under, drawing my ears away from my shoulders, I'm gonna keep the small of my back still, I'm gonna imagine that my breastbone is just hovering up off the mat and down. So it's a very small lift, I am not coming into a cobra stretch, Breathe in to engage, breathing out, long through the head and neck, and lower. What I'm really making sure I'm not doing is I'm not looking up, and I'm not arching. Okay, let's do that once more. Breathe in to engage that inner core, breathe out, draw those shoulders back, small hover, then come down. Let's start with our legs. We're going to start with one at a time and then go into double lift again so we can check how that low back is feeling. Breathe in to engage, tuck that tailbone under, gently hover one leg off the mat. This should be easy for you to do if you're coming into this advanced exercise, lower down. Let's have a check of the other side, breathe in to engage, tuck that tailbone under, breathing out, just try and relax those toes. People get cramped quite a lot in Pilates to so keep that foot relaxed. If that feels okay, we're going to go into a double lift. So we're going to breathe in to engage. We're going to hover one leg up. Keep that tailbone tucked under. We're going to hover the other leg up. Lengthening through the legs, lower and lower. Now, if you're okay with that, let's go in for a hover at the same time. So breathe in to engage. We're going to squeeze that bottom. And we're going to do a double hover. So my feet come up, my knees come up, and my thighs pretty much come off the mat. I'm going to lower down. 
Again, depending on your body shape, you'll notice more or less of your legs hovering. Breathe in to engage. Let's try that once more. Breathing out, hovering both legs. They're stretching away from the other side of the room, but keep that small of your back as soft as possible. And down. Any time you need, just have a pause, come up onto your hands and knees and have a bit of a stretch. We're going to put that all together now. We're going to do an upper body lift and a leg lift. Any pain, just have a pause. Breathe in to engage. Breathing out, draw those shoulders away from your ears. Tuck that tailbone under, breathing out. Hover. Breathing in lower with control. Breathing out, engage that core. Keep checking long through the head and neck. Squeezing that bottom, breathing out. We've got three more, breathing in to engage, breathing out. Small of your back feels very comfortable, feeling your glutes tighter, your bottom muscles tighter. Gently feel it, feeling some tightness through the shoulder blades, breathing in to engage, breathing out. Long through the head and neck. My neck feels really comfortable as I do this. Breathing out, just readjusting my legs. Now, the last variation, only if this is comfortable, is just to do a little bit of a swim when we're hovering. So we're going to find that centre again, drawing those shoulders away from our knees. Take a breath and engage that core. Breathe out. Small hover, look at my legs. Kick, 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 and down. Breathe in to engage, breathing out. Tuck that tailbone under, small hover. Five, four, three, two, one. Try and be really still on the mat. Got three more, breathe in to engage. Tuck under, breathing out. Kick, 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 kick. Two more, tucking under, breathing to engage, breathing out, draw those shoulder blades down, kick, kick, long through the legs, going for that little swim. I feel that working in my bottom, my back is comfortable, my neck is comfortable, and again, breathing out, hovering, five, four, three, two, and one. Now, it's important, even if we've been looking after our back, that we do a little reverse stretch now. So coming, sitting back onto your heels, sit into child pose, breathing in and out. Probably doing some nice cat cow stretches. I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs>